Hi guys, I'm Asset Paddy and in today's tutorial I want to show you how you can preload chunks for your Minecraft world and also tell you why this might be important to do. So you know that if you start a world it always ta takes a while until the terrain is uh, yeah, downloaded or uh, generated for the spawn. But uh, not only this takes maybe quite a while, it might also take quite a while to build in the chunks. And uh, for the spawn, it's okay, it's now um, loaded in, but as soon as I walk around, uh, there might be some chunks that are not loading, especially if you have a slower computer, that might be an issue. So um, I want just to show you what I mean by teleporting myself just somewhere, wow, loud noise, uh, which is not loaded yet. So for example, over here, 1000, 1000, and the chunks now need to load in at this position and this is um, yeah not a good thing here because um, yeah it's uh, for my single player world it would just mean that I would have to wait until the chunks load if I walk at uh, to this position and for the server it would mean that the server is quite stressed uh, because it needs to load the chunks and um, that means then for all other players um, that they might have some lag because somebody is loading new chunks so I always um, preload the chunks on a map that before I upload it to a server and I want to show you now how, how I'm doing that. So if we go back to spawn, it's important to be at spawn because this is spawn chunks. Uh, we need to take a look at an area which is a bit flat, like over here, that should be enough. Then we will give us a command block. So command block like this. And uh, then we need two commands because what we want to do is teleport the player in a straight line and when it reaches a certain point it should get teleported to over here and then teleport in a straight line again. So that's, that's two different teleport commands that we need to execute and we'll start with this one. So first up we need to define a box in which players should get teleported and I like to use uh, 2000 blocks in each direction. Of course you can use less or more but that's up to you. And so I need to put in x equals 2000, y equals 100, and z equals um, minus 2000 as well. And I guess I forgot a minus over here. So um, then we need to say that we want to go 4000 blocks in x direction and uh, dy equals 100, uh, 10 blocks and dz equals 4000 blocks as well and all players that are in this box we want to teleport 200 blocks in x direction and uh, teleport them to y equals 105 and then just stay at the same z level as they are at this moment. So uh, if we then reach a site we need to detect this and therefore we can just grab this command over here and put it into this command block and then we just need to change the x coordinate over here because when we reach the 2000 and we will just detect 400 blocks more in x direction I guess it's a bit too much but uh, it doesn't really matter so for all blocks that are uh, next to the area we want to preload we want to teleport the player to um, back to x equals minus 2000 so without the tilde and uh, they stay at the same uh, y level but we will move them in uh, z direction about two uh, 200 blocks and uh, that's then all commands that you really need then you can just hook up a clock for example just a hopper clock should do the trick just like this and um, then put a comparator block and throw a block into it and this is now working. I'm not getting teleported because I'm lower than uh, the y uh, equals 100. And uh, that's a good thing because then you can stop the teleporting anytime you want. And if I now just go to uh, minus 2000 and 105 and minus 2000, uh, the game should start preloading the chunks. So it will wait until this is uh, loaded here and uh, as soon as these chunks are loaded it will teleport me to the next location so if I press my S3 screen you can see that I'm at minus 2000 minus 2000 at the moment and hopefully we can see the chunks loading in now normally it is a bit faster for me but since I am recording at the same time 
it uh, stresses my computer quite a bit and uh, now it should teleport me any second there we go now we got uh, teleported 200 blocks further so it uh, loads in these trunks and as soon as it has some capacity it will teleport me again and this just goes on until I am done with the whole area and it will stop then on the other side of the square and if I d um, need to stop it before I can just kill myself or teleport myself down and uh, I will end up back at spawn and can just stop the clock here. So I hope that this is useful to you, to me it is at least and if you like this video feel free to leave a like uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share this video with your friends and I will see you in the next video.